the magus has a job to do. When the magus hits the grade of magus, the magus, in his own uniqueness, in the time and space of the age that he is the magus of, utters a word that is the magical formula of the age. So, it's, and the word, uh, well, like Buddha's word, what, anatta? That declares the formula of the age. And then the magus tries to explain the nature of initiation, the nature of reality, the nature of consciousness. But because the magus has crossed the abyss, is way above the abyss area, he's up in the supernal triad of the tree of life, everything, everything with ears below the abyss hears what the magus says aversely. The abyss, that area that goes between the, the, the supernal triad on the tree of life, one, two, and three, that wonderful area, and everything else on the tree of life, the, the supernal triad is, is uh, protected from the rest of the tree of life with this abyss which is like a looking glass. And to cross the abyss in your initiatory trip going, going up, it's like you have to cross... Alice passing through the looking glass. So everything that, that, that we can think about above the abyss, above the abyss, all opposites are reconciled. Down here below the abyss, all opposites are opposites. Okay, there is a black, there is a white. There is, above the abyss, black and white are reconciled. Okay, so any utterance from above the abyss up here in Magus land the Magus might be yelling, My word is white! White! I'm the white Magus! It's white up here, everyone! It's beautiful! Come to my whiteness! Come! It's white! White! And then as it goes through the abyss, it goes, White! White! And below the abyss, it's finally going, Black! 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 Everything above the abyss is black! And all you have to do is look at, let's say, the character that, uh, whose, whose life eventually became the myth of Jesus. Love thy neighbor. Yeah. Turn the other cheek. Love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy mind and with all thy strength. And thy neighbor is thyself. Love thy neighbor. Love thy neighbor. How many years did it take for a monstrous thing to take over? How many years before the first crusade? That's what happens to Maguses. That's why when you hear Crowley talking about, oh, her golden cup of fornication and her murders and her sludge and her scum and her, her gleet and poop in my cup, my dear, and all. <laughs> it's above the abyss talk. Okay. And all of those murders and all of, the, all of the blood of the martyrs all of a sudden, wait a second, maybe this is just the life of all evolving. And the golden cup of her fornications is really this beautiful holy grail type thing. And, and the whore of Babylon is really, I'm sorry, it's just the, the most pure female quality possible that turns away nothing. It's just... Can you see? That apathoth is ridicules every word that comes out, of, distorts every word that comes out of the magus's mouth. It's the pet that you're issued. <laughs>